Hey good people, it is Tashara from Politics and Fashion here today with the video that is all about preparing for spring. Now, it is the middle of March at the time of me filming this. It's almost Aries season, Aries stand up, okay? And uh, we gotta get prepared for the drip. We have to do it, but we have to also shop with intention and to consume consciously. So if you were down for some shopping tips for spring, just keep watching. Now spring is my favorite time of year because I am an April baby, 4-4 Aries stand up, okay? And I am really excited obviously for the weather to break as well. Y'all know I am from Florida. This time of year is just not my favorite. It's not my favorite. I've gotten a lot better at layering. I'm wearing my quince a cashmere hoodie today so i am welcoming warmer pieces into my wardrobe but i ain't even gonna hold you spring is where it's at for me and definitely definitely summer and so i am excited y'all to jump into some new pieces this spring i have a list that is emerging and i wanted to share with you all what i consider before i make any purchases my first shopping tip is to consider the lifestyle that you currently have Turn, turn to your neighbor and say currently, not fantasy. Right here, today, at the time of you watching this, not when you was in college, not before you had the baby, not when you lose 15 pounds, not when you get a passport, the lifestyle that you have today. And this tip is in partnership with my friends over at Adidas. I'm so excited that Adidas has sponsored a portion of today's video. I am in my athletic era. I am friends. I am. I'm, I know you've been watching me. I know you've seen me on the video. I know you've been seeing me uh, on the Pelly down on the Peloton, sharing a few of my workouts with you all, sharing in my vlogs about how I am welcoming in a healthier lifestyle. And the reality is most days I'm also filming or working from home. And so that has me in the mindset of how can I be comfortable? How can I be cute? How can I throw a little athletic tease in there? You see where I'm going? And I am not an early in the day workout person, y'all. So I need things that I feel like are cute to go run to the post office, run downstairs and get my packages, go to the grocery store jump on a zoom meeting for example and then be able to work out midday or even better for me at the end of the day as a way to kind of round off my day and transition getting me out of work mode into relaxation time and so I chose uh, two pairs of sneakers from Adidas that are specifically for that that I'm gonna style up for you all again it's all about the lifestyle that I currently have I was not working out as much a year two years ago I did not see a need to have as many pieces that were not just athletic wear but that could also be elevated and so this is speaking specifically to where I am currently and y'all know I love gazelles okay and this pair of gazelles from Adidas are actually platform and they're not just platform but y'all get into this sole it's like a layered a three-part layer sole which I feel like is so unique. I love the black, the I am the queen of neutrals over here, but the yellow has a great pop, especially for this time of year. And the way I see myself wearing this is with a pair of bike shorts and then a cute little crop top or a sports bra. Throw a blazer on top of it or a hoodie and I'm out the door. It's definitely the kind of thing that I could see myself wearing as it gets warmer to a co-working space. Y'all know I love that. I mentioned it in a previous video. When it's hot outside, I can always take the blazer off. When I'm inside working at my computer, put my blazer back on. If I have a few calls, we're just, you know, business up top, party on the bottom. So we just here up on the call. It looks like I'm actually suited and booted and buttoned up. But really, I'm wearing my Adidas. Yeah, I'm wearing my Adidas. I'm out and about and I'm ready to go home, throw the blazer off, put my Peloton, my bike shoes on, and hit Tune Day's class is what I was thinking with these. And this pair? This color, y'all, is so good. And give me a retro sneaker any freaking time it's not quite gray it's kind of like an ash brown maybe is the color i would describe it as and then you have the gum sole my god and the contrast with the white laces and the white stripes and let's talk about how i would style these i would definitely go after bougie 
Yep, act bougie, um, meaning a little athletic and a little bougie at the same time. And so I am wearing a matching set here. I think I have the sports bra on with it as well because the whole idea for me was being able to take off this hoodie and then literally come home, slip off these, put on my Peloton, my bike shoes, and do a quick ride. And so I would wear something like this during the day or on the during the day during the week or all day on the weekends. But again, the idea is I can can go out I can get my errands done I look put together the sneakers are sleek they're stylish they're not too chunky and I can also actually work out later on without having to change my clothes so it's a two for one and to get back to the shopping tip it actually reflects my current lifestyle Many thanks to Adidas for sponsoring that portion of the video I'm just so proud and amazed that I'm getting to work with such great brands lately. I've always made the decision to only partner with brands that I love on my platforms, but here lately I am just excited and I know that is a result of you all. So thank you and thank you for supporting me by supporting the brands that support this channel. Let's keep going. So as I mentioned, I have a lot more athletic wear in my wardrobe currently. The same, same thing with sneakers. Um, and I am investing y'all in high quality athletic wear at that that there's nothing wrong with pieces that are maybe more affordable at your big box stores, for example, but I want to uh, be diligent and consume consciously. So for example, I bought myself a full set at a higher price point of athletic wear in uh, February. I did the same for March and that's it. Right? I'm not shopping here, there, everywhere. I'm consuming consciously. I'm investing in pieces that are going to last and that are count. I'm not, I ain't even gonna hold you when when I when I see Ally Miss Love on that Peloton, when I see Tunde on that Peloton, when I see Hannah on that Peloton, okay, and they outfits, the fits be fitting, it gets me excited to put me a fit on too. So just like uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep that in mind. But I'm not going over bored at the same time and I am also focused on things that are interchangeable so just to sum that tip up I want to give you a little bit more background on what my mindset currently is and how I am shopping and so I'll probably do that same thing kind of invest in one set per month for another month or two and then start to mix and match pieces that I feel like I am missing and that gets me to tip number two focus on what is missing Focus on what is missing, y'all. And here is where I believe my wardrobe reset toolkit will be a big asset to you. It is 100% free, y'all. Drop down in the description box and grab that. I created that toolkit. It's a one-pager. It's like a checklist because I wanted the tribe to have kind of shared language around these principles. And so I've heard great things about it from folks saying that it has really helped them as far as kind of tailoring their wardrobe and shopping with intention. And so grab that, girl. It is going to be worth its weight in spades for you as we prepare for a new season. Now focusing on what is missing for me is so important because it ensures that you're actually getting the mileage out of your wardrobe, that you were excited about introducing something new into your closet, and you're actually going to wear the thing. Wearing the thing is one of the principles that is so important to me because it ensures that we don't have a bunch of clutter in our wardrobes that, that just collects dust, but we actually are excited to wake up in the morning and put on our pieces, whether it is our accessories, our clothes, our shoes, our handbags, etc. Number three is to embrace our current body. Goes back to number one about our lifestyle. I think how we see our physical appearance is the same for me. I did a closet clear out and I got rid of pieces y'all that I have been holding on to subconsciously because I thought to myself, oh, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. I'll be able to fit those again. And it's like, you know what? Why put that pressure on myself? I'm still a baddie. 10 pounds up, 10 pounds down, 10 pounds round. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like you still bad. And as long as you are healthy and your focus is on being healthy and whole, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, in all the ways, then this idea that we are only beautiful or, or at our best because of our physical size is the patriarchy if I ain't never seen it before. And so for my audience, especially those of us who are at a big age and just naturally our bodies are changing at this time, perimenopausal, menopausal, and beyond, 
I feel like hoarding things or not shopping because we don't love our body is a loss for us personally. If we have a disposable income, then what I'm going to encourage us to do is not to see transitioning pieces out of our wardrobe at a loss. Think about it as an opportunity to welcome something new in. Now, I'm not gonna tell you to get rid of the family heirloom that you really, the Marilyn Monroe dress that Kim Kardashian lost a, a, um, a rib to be able to wear. Probably not, she didn't really, but you know what I mean. Probably not. But your black work pants from Learner New York, you can, I think that if they don't fit, you, I, I, you can, you have my permission to just go ahead and transition those and get you some more work pants, sis. You can get you some more jeans. You can get you a couple more, okay? Make a budget. Make a list. Back to number two. Decide what it is you're missing once you declutter. But I don't want the pressure of feeling like who I am today is not good enough because I don't fit what I could fit five years ago. If we recognize that we change mentally, if we recognize that hopefully our bank accounts look a little bit better and we have that kind of expectation for ourselves, we recognize that our career goals should also elevate, why would our bodies not also, why would they not also change? And so I am not preaching, I'm speaking to myself as I speak to you with this one, but it is what I am currently and consciously working through in my mind because what I recognize is if the overall goal is to be healthy and my lifestyle reflects that, that is all that matters because we look good at any and every size. Number four, I want you to think about what is your phrase for the season? What's your phrase? Mine is stunner at bougie. I feel like I'm, I'm due for a stunt piece. I'm due for a stunt piece. I don't know what it is yet, but I think it's going to choose me. When I see it, I'm going to know that that's my stunt piece. So I want a little stunner some, and I also want the app bougie thing to also be a continued trend. As I mentioned, I want to continue to wear sneakers in fun and interesting ways. Um, I want to wear more sneakers with dresses and with skirts. I want to go out to dinner and throw on a pair of sneakers, honestly, with a slip dress and a moto jacket and be a-okay with that. Beat my face, have a cute hand back and be out the door, right? I, I just, I want to lean not just into the comfort era that I told you all last fall, but also kind of elevating that entire style, um, knowing that whatever I bring into my wardrobe, I am going to want to wear in multiple ways. And so... What is your word or what is your phrase? I think that's really important, y'all, because it can also help to guide your purchases and ensure that you are shopping with intention. Last but not least, I want you to make a list and check it twice, okay? This list is all about, based upon tips one through four, what is it that you actually want to purchase for this spring? It goes without saying that obviously you're probably going to be buying something if you are watching this video. And all I want to encourage you to do, you all, is to do so with intention and not to mindlessly shop. I'm really excited because I was featured in Essence last month uh, online in a story all about the rise of de-influencers. And I said, you don't say, okay. Um, I am very proud of that. And they actually mentioned the idea that I created a no buy list this year, for example. So this idea that obviously we love the thing, we're ready to put the thing on when it's time to go to the place with the thing, but we don't have to do so in a mindless way. We can do so with intention. And that is where your list is going to guide you. Let us know down below what is on your list for the season. We would love to know. And also just support and encourage each other on this journey. That is all for me today, good people. Make sure you are following me all across the internet. And I will see you good people in the next video. Peace.